Hello people of YouTube, this is Fuse Exotic here teaching you how to merch and how to get higher stats up, like get permanent stat parts, stat pots, and roam the mad god. It's not as hard as it looks, but it's more time consuming. A lot of people who don't have patience can't really play this game because for the most part, in order to get higher up in this game, you're going to have to merch for a while. So I have like 125 hours in this game now, and I spent most of it merching, but it got me these three resurrection amulets, these bow, the covert, I got the doom bow, which is probably the goodest stuff in the game, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, there's different kinds of like websites you can go on that tells you the price guides and whatnot, I'm probably going to link one's uh, address on here. Some of the stuff is outdated, so any of the things that I might find, or I'm probably just going to actually type in on my description what most of the prices are for common items you might go through. Everyone wants to start off low, but what you got to do is you got to trade people who really want the items, and you got to get two items or more of equal or greater value, or something that's more than the value and sellability. But really... You gotta get certain items that people want. I know coral traps every once in a while can sell for highs, so do red agents. You can also get them from cheap from other people. But never accept drake eggs. It's one of the worst moves you could possibly do in this game. Drake eggs are just horrible. You can't sell them ever. So I'm gonna put in my description what you gotta do. And make sure if you someone's like... How should I say that? If they don't want to pay as much as you want to get for it, which don't put it ridiculously, but put it for a little bit more than it's normally worth. Like, don't sell it for the equal value. You gotta sell it for something more or more, like two equal items or whatnot. Something that'll get you a little bit of money, because then eventually in the outcome, you'll get different kinds of pots, like speed pots, which are permanently ex increase your speed, and stat pots like that, like they have a stat pot for all of these. I'm not sure how much magic costs, and all, but I do know that health for one life pot it's five death pots. Speed is the lowest of the pots. Four speed is one death pot. And then once you get five death pots, you can trade it for one life. And each one of these amies is like three life pots, and I got three of them now. But what you have to do is you have to get as many pots as possible and trade them for items that are worth a couple more pots than what you have. That's usually how you make most of your money. Like for instance, if you see Griffin Hide, which is a really good it's better than what I have on right now. Griffin hide armor. And if you see that for selling for two defense pots, you usually will take it because you can sell it for a minimum of three to four. You can sometimes get a life pot out of it. And little trades like that, you just gotta look around, see who's out there selling stuff, and things like that. I'm now in the world, and I'm gonna show you some of the neat tricks of selling stuff. Like, in order to get people to see you... Can Press uh, cap lock, and then you gotta say, you can do this, this also gets attention. That, that means selling. Here's a neat trick, it is how to copy and paste on this game, like for instance, I'll be typing, press T, and that's another way to tell someone you're saying something. I'm gonna sell a covert bow, which is the best three shot in the game, and a coral trap, which I think is the best trap. So I'll say, selling, coral, trap, and covert bow and then what you do is from here you press shift and you press the left arrow key and it starts to highlight everything and this is so you can always have it out there without waiting and then typing and then people trading sending you trade offers and it gets all messed up there and then once you have it all let your hand off of the left key, arrow key first and then off of the shift because if you let it off of the shift first it unhighlights everything so now that it's here put your hand on the put your finger on the control and then put it on C. And then you can press the right arrow key after you did that. Press enter. Press T. Control V. And then it just comes back up and I can continue to say that over and over again. And now you always want to trade for something that's more than you have or something that you really need. I'm not going to go f like I would rather wait for something I need then get it immediately. So I got one trade, and a lot of people sometimes won't even give you something. Like, this guy really doesn't have much. I like the gate dagger, though. So I'm gonna... Uh, his name is... I'm not sure where he is, actually. It's like Dex... Dexi. I'm not sure where this person is, which is also... There he is. Well, 
you can't find the people, usually they're always going to try to give you something less for something you have. JB, what do you want? T. Dag. Which is dagger. No, I'll say like what for egg uh, for a bow or trap. Now, coral trap is worth like one def one defense pot, and that's not much. It's like one to three, and the bow's worth more than that. So, S R Y always like to say sorry or no thank you. And see why, because that also makes it to where that they'll say hmm, maybe, but if you usually mean to them, they'll just leave. Uh, only trap, sorry. Hmm. Bows, hey, lot more than dag. Bows and dag. S R Y. can take caps lock off now because usually when you say stuff you don't want it to be in caps lock unless if you're saying a message well at least that always trolls me so I'm gonna wait for this guy to get his message back and see if it'll work so I'm taking that as a no <laughs> eventually you'll find the right person though I don't know one time like yesterday someone was trying to sell plane walker which is worth two amulets and they wanted only one coral trap for it No, Isabel, I don't know what he wants. Can I get with my stuff? Don't really want, because these are lower class items. I mean, these are good for other people. Like, this is one defense. This is, these three are one speed. Both of those are probably one attack. Or not one attack, but like one defense each. Steel Helms are like one SPD each, so he I mean he has an okay inventory and whatnot. But uh, servers are also really big. There's different servers for different merching. So if I go to, oh by the way, feel free to speed up this video if I didn't cover anything. Uh, U.S. West, that's always crowded. That's where you bring your high tier items. Like that's where Amis are sold, the Doom bows, all the higher up items. U.S. Midwest is usually good, has a good amount of people. That's what I usually like to go on for merching. I'll either go on that or small servers like US East 3. Some people don't know how to change servers sometimes, which is really rare to find someone who doesn't know how, but they usually just don't move because that's the best server. They don't go on the big servers, so they'll give you really good deals for stuff. I know the later it gets, like usually when I'm on here at like, if I go on at 1 in the morning, I usually get better deals. I used to always get the best deals at that time. Oh, and by the way, when you switch servers, it still follows you. You can still press Control V. Just keep on selling. Eventually, I'm hoping at the end of this video to get someone who will trade something good. I'm probably going to pause this video for now and see who else out there. Okay, so I'm back now. i got to see if this guy around here wants something. Now, ooh, that's a good trade. For both of those, like, that's one SPD and that's three def. And what I have here is only one def. So I'm going to take that. So pretty much, I just about tripled my money. You just had to wait a minute. Uh, I only been shut off for about a minute and a half now. And thus, supply and demand's a big one. Like, if a lot of people die for certain items, there's not as many of them. And a lot of the prices will hit really high for some items. But if you wait a day or two, they go down. There's always going to be something that's in high demand and they don't have enough. So people are always going to be willing to overpay, overpay <laughs> for a coral trap. Usually, coral traps, usually, they always hit a high eventually. Like, one guy was about to give me plane walker, which is a lot more th than a coral trap. It's just, you gotta have it at that time, and different people will pay more for it. Like, that guy wants one life, which is only, that's about five times more than this. A lot of people sometimes try to 
sell something for a lot more than it's worth, so you can't take the prices of what people are selling for. I'm going to say most of the prices in my description, and always try to sell, like, if someone has something that's two items that are worth a little bit more than your item, and they're not too hard to sell, I'll say if items are really hard to sell or not, too, in there. It always depends at different times if they're hard or not to sell. So, I'm going to put that in my description. This is Fusei Exotic. Uh, subscribe, leave a like if this helped you. Uh, see you later. Hopefully in another video. I'm probably going to be doing a video of me running out in the world, which is really rare. That's it for now. Bye.